don't forget, be sure to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell for notifications. Hey guys, what's going on? Sunny here from Online Sales Funnel Academy, coming to you from my home office here in Seattle, Washington. Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to um, do a training today about Instagram and how somebody who is growing their Instagram following can really get in front of all of their existing followers who have engaged with them inside of their profile. Now, Facebook has a lot of different ways that you can create what they call an audience and get back in front of people who've engaged with your brand. So if you are running a traditional Facebook post from an, or Facebook ad from inside of, of Facebook, you might create an audience of people who have um, engaged with your page or a post on your page in the last 365 days. But what a lot of people I don't think realize is that you can do the exact same thing for your Instagram account. Now it does have one requirement that it is your business account, but, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second. So no worries there. But what the, but the, the logic behind this as far as a strategy is a couple reasons. Number one, if you're spending most of your time on your Instagram and you're really trying to build up your following and you get a lot of engagement and a lot of people interacting with your brand, this is probably a strategy for you. Uh, number two, if you have a highly engaging brand that's very visual and that's helping people, like I just talked about in in the number one, that's like uh, highly engaging, whether it's food, maybe it's pictures, of a brand you've, you know, health and fitness or something, you know, some brands are just naturally easier to market than others on Instagram. So what I'm getting at is if you have something that's highly visual and you're getting a lot of engagement, this consider using this strategy as one of your um, cost savings uh, when you're running ads. Now, why is this a cost savings method? Well, if you were to run an ad over on Facebook, and just target everybody on Facebook and Instagram, you've really cast this really wide net. Now that's, you're kind of telling Facebook, hey, make sure you get all the people who've engaged with my Facebook page as well. And if you have a really large Facebook group and a really large fan base on Facebook as on the actual page, then great, that would make sense to do both of them. But in this particular strategy, um, what I'm trying to get at is that you're only aiming to throw the dart at people um, who have engaged with your in some way they've liked comments shared or direct messaged you inside of your Instagram business account and you are only going to be running an ad to those people inside of Instagram so in other words this this ad will not run in the Facebook news feeds and they will only be seen inside of the uh, Instagram so I want you to think of um, I thought of a pretty good analogy for this. I want you to think of Facebook as a really large shopping mall. And like everybody has to go through the main door of the shopping mall to get inside of it, right? When you look over to the right, there's a really large department store. Maybe in our mind, it might be Macy's or Penny's or Sears or whatever. But in this case, you look right and you see Instagram, okay? So the reason I'm, I'm describing it like this is like, you have to go inside of the back of Facebook in order to actually run an ad inside of Instagram. Okay, so you have to, you can't go, there is no place to go inside of Instagram, as it were. You have to go through Facebook, set up, set it up inside your ads manager, and then be able to run the ad down here inside of Instagram. Okay, you guys, hope that made sense. So what I've got right here, pulled up in front of you here, is I've got my main Facebook profile. Just wanted to kind of do a shout out like this is the main inside Facebook for online sales funnel Academy and this is where we're not going to be running our ad from okay so we're gonna be um, right here this is my Instagram account for online sales funnel Academy and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an ad specifically to run inside of the newsfeed to anybody who has ever interacted with any of my posts okay so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is go inside of your ads manager in the back of um, Facebook. Okay, so I've got my, hold on, I've got my ads manager pulled up right here. Hold on. 
my screen's pinned there. There we go. So from the, what we call, whenever you see the gray bar going across the top of your screen right there, that's an indication to you that you are in the business manager inside of Facebook and that's where you want to be. So uh, what you do is you come over to what I call the three pancakes. You click on the three pancakes and then you're gonna see analytics, ads manager, or audience. Ads manager is where we're actually going to build, build the ad in just a second. But for right now, I wanna show you this other one called audiences. And there's two ways to get there. You can click here or you can go to all tools and then you can click audiences. Either way will get you there. Okay, once you, uh, once you get to the audiences tab, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna, it's gonna have a list of all your existing um, audiences over here. And you'll see I have one over here called Sunny Instagram. I just shot this video and the audio was bad, so I'm reshooting it. So we'll create a different one for that. Actually, let's delete this. I'm gonna delete these. That way there's no confusion. And so you can go in and delete and delete, okay? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an audience and we're gonna do custom. And you'll see that these 10 choices come up right here. Um, and as you hover over, there's an explanation of each one. So the one that we want is called Instagram Business Profile. Create an audience of people who have visited or interacted with your profile or ad on Instagram. Boom, that's the one we want. Now what's cool here is that the very first thing it says, add people to your audience of anybody who has met any or all, so you get to pick, of the following criteria. And here you wanna make sure you pick the right brand. There's a drop down here, I'm not gonna push it because I am an admin on multiple clients' accounts. So just make sure you've got the proper brand pulled up right here. And then right here, uh, your, your time limit is, your capacity is 365 days. So it tells you right here, you, it won't keep data past 365 days on that. But these are your choices. Anyone who has visited your business profile, people who have engaged with a post or an ad, people who've sent a message to your business, or people who have saved any post or ad. Now, if this is just like, uh, if you're just a brand that's kind of like just trying to retarget people and, and serve them with another ad or a reminder of, of, hey, you've already visited me once or liked an ad, I would probably suggest that you do this one, people who engaged with any post or ad. Um, that kind of seems like the next, the, the low hanging entry level ad type that we would do there. So you just click that. Now, just as a side note, you can also include and exclude more of these, um, you know, you can also say people who've engaged with any post and who have also visited your business profile in the past 365 days. And then you just quite simply, you just uh, name your audience I'm gonna put two on there, you hit create. And what it does is it goes out and it creates an audience of everybody who has ever engaged with your brand, whatever you just asked it to. Now remember, they won't show you who the people are, but they scrape together this large audience that you can now serve your ads to. So what's cool is that um, Facebook is, so the audience is here and it's kind of like your left hand and your right hand. So you've got your audiences on the left. Now we need to go create an ad that we can hook this audience to. Okay. So from, you're going to go back up to the pancakes. We're going to go down to the ads manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to create just a simple ad. Okay, you guys. So now I'm going to create a very simple Instagram ad that's going to run inside of Instagram. And what we're going to do is from inside of your ads manager, we're going to click on create. And in this particular example, I'm just gonna pick a traffic campaign. In other words, I just want them to click the link and uh, you could also do engagement or reach or conversions. But in this case, I wanna do traffic and continue. And then th it, this is gonna be the second level. This is called the ad set. And the ad set level is where we change or add the audience. So what you do is just quite simply click inside here and you're gonna see Sunny Instagram 2 is right there. So you're gonna select it. And that's the only thing that we wanna put right here. Now you have the opportunity to 
add or delete the countries also, because that's, you're actually saying people who've engaged with Instagram who only live in, in the United States. So if you don't want this, go ahead and take this out. That's up to you. And then what you do, just leave this age ranges alone. Don't do anything else here. But, but what you do want to do is come down to the placements and we're going to go to manual. So this is where we can deselect all the ones that are not Instagram feed. So, and actually I'm just going to get rid of all of it and I'm just going to do, you scroll down and pick Instagram feed and then anything that says Instagram, those are going to be the only ones that we're going to um, pick. Now, what we're really doing here is it's asking us, where do we want these ads to show up? You know, which these are all the different kinds of places throughout Facebook and Instagram that they have available. So again, in this example, we only want to retarget people, you know, on Instagram only. And you could even do right here, you could also do only on mobile devices. You could even drill down further if you knew what kind of device they were on. And so just by clicking those right there, that now we've actually set the targeting to show up in the Instagrams. And, and now we've got the audience of people who've engaged with us ever on Instagram. Okay, so this is a very specific strategy that, that this does. And you want make sure you want to change your budget. You continue to the third level, which is where we actually create the ad. This is where you would pick an image or a carousel of images or a video. And actually, you guys, I don't want to create the full ad right here. Um, I'm just going to, um, because I don't want this focus to be like of the creative and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to very quickly um, pick an image just to show you what the final might look like. But I don't want you to focus on the actual creative because that's not what this video is about. Today's video is intended to be about strategy. Okay. So we're just going to pick an image just for the sake of an image because it's not a real ad. And I'm just gonna pick the first thing that comes up in my account. Yeah, we'll continue. Okay, so then you would put, hey there, not really. And then you would put your link to whatever it is that you are trying to promote right here. And then, you know, do the learn more or the sign up right there. And you can see what it looks like on Instagram because right here, <coughs> excuse me, this is where we have all the Instagram. So it'll show you what it's going to look like on each one of the feeds. Just thinking. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay. So when you're done, you just scroll down and you just, you know, go ahead and you know, select your pixel and hit confirm. Okay, that's the wrong pixel. Online Sales Model Academy. And then you're going to hit confirm and then you're done. It's going to go through the process of um, getting updated and then it'll be live inside of Instagram only to save you money. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I enjoyed making it. Be sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on this video and be sure to, to click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos that I make in the future. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. So take care.